When we look at the Bollinger Bands, it looks like a great indicator to trade Forex. The price seems to always respect the bands. So imagine if we sell when the price touches the upper band and exit when it touches the lower one. That sounds pretty obvious, right? How successful would this strategy be in your opinion? That's what we'll learn today. A few weeks ago, we received a strategy from Asim Shaikh, who's one of our subscribers. He wanted us to backtest a simple Bollinger Bands trading strategy that, according to him, has a success rate of 90%. So far, he's been backtesting it manually using the replay mode and an Excel spreadsheet. Thanks, Asim, for this strategy. Let's give it a try using an expert advisor this time. The best thing about this Bollinger Bands trading strategy that Asim sent us is its simplicity. It's only relying on the Bollinger Bands indicator that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. It's probably one of the most simple trading indicators that you can think of. No worries, I'll explain this strategy in detail and go through some examples from the chart. We'll learn when to enter and exit the market, and once done, we'll backtest the strategy together and see how profitable it is. So keep watching till the end. This strategy relies entirely on the Bollinger Bands indicator which is a technical analysis tool defined by a set of trend lines plotted two standard deviations, positively and negatively, away from a simple moving average of a securities price, but which can be adjusted to user preferences. Bollinger Bands are a type of price envelope developed by John Bollinger. The price envelopes define upper and lower price range levels. The indicator is available on most chart platforms. For instance, if you're on TradingView, you just need to click on Indicators, then type in Bollinger Bands. You can simply double click it and you'll see that it's been added to the chart. If we check the indicator settings, we can see that Bollinger Bands use two parameters, period and standard deviation. The default values are 20 for the period and two for standard deviations, although you may customize the combinations. This is a lagging indicator, which is a tool used by traders to analyze the markets using an average of previous price action data. The lagging aspect of indicators will get traders into trades that have greater confirmation behind them as they are based on more data. In other words, the indicator will force traders to wait a bit before entering. So how does this strategy work? Well, when the price touches the upper band and closes above it, we go short and we remain in the market until the price touches the lower band. Let's look at this example. This is the daily Euro USD chart. We can see that the price has touched the upper Bollinger Band and close above it. We immediately go short and exit the trade when the price touches the lower band and closes below it. On the other hand, we go long when the price closes below the Bollinger Band, we place a buy order. The price will eventually touch the upper band in the future, and that's the time when we exit the trade. There is no stop loss in this Bollinger Band's trading strategy. If you've watched the video where we traded Forex with and without stop loss, you'd know that this strategy is a bit risky, but we'll know the answer in a bit, so keep watching. As usual, we'll backtest this strategy using an expert advisor. It's built according to this Bollinger Band's way of trading the market. Backtesting a strategy using an expert advisor is the most accurate and fastest way to review any trading strategy. You can easily find the reasons behind some of the losing trades and to find the best settings for each currency pair. If you don't know how to build an expert advisor, you can find people online who offer this service. They usually charge up to $500 if you're looking for a sophisticated one. Otherwise, you can learn how to do that from A to Z. I'm going to leave a link in the description box to an interesting Udemy course that you can watch to learn how to easily build an expert advisor, even if you're not good with numbers and codes. According to Asim, who's again the guy who submitted this trading method, the Bollinger Band's trading strategy works best on the daily time frame, as the entry signals are more reliable in this setup. This is our expert advisor. Let's do some adjustments before backtesting. You can see that we're on a daily time frame. I'll run this over the last three years and use the Euro USD currency pair. This would work 90% of the time based on the manual backtesting done by a SIM. We'll use a $1,000 initial balance and allow both buy and sell orders this time which means that the expert advisor will run both long and short. I'll let the EA place as many trades as possible. We'll enter the market whenever the entry conditions are met, so I'll keep this option disabled. Other than that, we'll run this backtesting with a one micro lot volume size to avoid any early margin call. 
We need to keep the take profit and stop loss disabled this time, so the trades will only be closed when the price touches either the upper or lower Bollinger Bands. To protect our balance, we'll exit the trade if the price reverses. This will allow us to protect our capital in case of any major price reversal. Let's double check all the settings, then hit on Start. While waiting for the results, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. You can also submit your trading strategy for backtesting. Simply visit this link and provide the necessary details about your trading method. We've just completed backtesting. Let's look at the results now. Apparently, our balance has significantly increased. By looking at this graph, we can assume that the drawdown is not that bad. We had 46 trades in total, with an average of one entry per month. The success rate is more than 80%, which is fantastic. The drawdown is almost 20%, which is relatively high, and apparently we've made a profit of $531.48. This looks like a great strategy, to be honest with you. But what if we run this expert advisor over the last 10 years instead of three? Are we going to make more profit? Well, let's do it. I'll only change the time range and run this expert advisor from 2011 to 2021. We can keep the other settings as they are and hit on Start. Backtesting customization is extremely important. Many backtesting applications have input for commission amounts, lot sizes, margin requirements, interest rates, and many other settings. To get the most accurate backtesting results, it's important to tune these settings to mimic the broker to be used when the system goes live. All right, these are the results. We did make some profit at the beginning and managed to maintain our balance safe for some time, but somehow our equity has dramatically dropped after trade number 40. By analyzing the chart, we can notice that the price was on a bearish super trend and many buy trades have been triggered here as the price was continuously touching the lower Bollinger Bands for more than six months. Apparently, it's important to have fixed take profit and stop loss levels for every single trade to avoid this situation. Only by looking at the chart, we can see that some of these 13 losing buy trades will be turned into winners if we adjust the settings accordingly. So I would advise a sim not to use this strategy. You might end up losing a big part of your balance, especially if you're stuck in a super up or downtrend. It's important to come up with an element that will help you filter out these losing trades. Have you considered a fixed risk to reward ratio? We can clearly see that it would help us get rid of some of these losing trades and turn them into winners. We already have this option available on our expert advisor, so it won't be complicated to test. Let me know in the comment section the take profit and stop loss values you want me to use as we continue working on this method. What do you think about this Bollinger Bands trading strategy? Let us know in the comment section, and don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel. Happy trading!